Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here. This is a pre-video to the coming video. Let me explain real quickly. I made a big mistake on my video, but it was long and it it's just really hard to redo it. So I'm adding this little section to kind of explain what happened. I used um, Barbara's Digitals and I've got links for her but what I didn't realize because it was sandwiched in between in my file section her videos I had purchased a, a download or digitals from tailor-made journals and these envelopes are hers and so I wanted to clear that up You'll notice in the video it says Barbara on everything and uh, I anyway I checked with Barbara and she's okay with me doing this so I'll put the link to um, the this that I purchased and they and these are adorable envelopes Barbara has some adorable ones too but they're a little smaller okay so I just want to clear that up for you I apologize and I wanted to show you you're going to see this in the end we're going to create this but I did take it apart you'll see I don't want to give it all away but you'll see it is right side up <laughs> okay thank you guys and enjoy the video bye now hi guys Rhonda Winstead here. Hello, hello, hello. I hope that you are doing very well. I hope that your day is going great or your evening, whenever it is that you're watching this video. I am so happy to be here with you today. Okay, so what we're working on today is kind of a combination of a couple of things. One is a design team project for Barbara with 49 Dragonflies. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. I love her. And I'm sure you do too. She has awesome videos. And she's got a wonderful shop. And I'll put all the links in my description box below of what papers that I'm using and how her shop and all of that good stuff there. So what we're working with today and this was the first one that I made. This is from an envelope that I took just a plain envelope and covered it, lined it and turned it into this adorable little notebook so this can be oh this would make a great stocking stuffer it would <coughs> excuse me um, let me get a drink <coughs> it just seems like when I talk I do have a tendency to keep coughing that's the ugh, that just kind of hangs on okay so as you can see, I just did some fun. You've got spots for journaling here. You've got some things that you can play with. You know, whoever can do, you know, I mean, the sky's the limit. You can, you can cater this however you want to do that. This is a perfect little size to just fold up, pop in your purse, take wherever you want to go. And if you'll notice here, I call this I Spy. <laughs> now, last year, <clears throat> I made uh, and put in my Etsy shop. Blah, blah. <laughs> Oops, let me start again. <laughs> last year, I made and put in my shop, sold several of these I Spy covers. I had them in different fabrics and papers and and whatnot um, and they did very well um, but I I seriously doubt whether I'll get to that this year 
but I did want to show you how much fun it can be. Um, and the I Spy is basically, you know, cutting and pasting different papers and fabrics, and then I stitch them all together. And you would do, of course, your uh, your front. And, well, let's see, let's open it back up. You would decorate this, and then you would add, when you're all done stitching, then you'd go ahead and add an inside to cover it. Or you could do, you know, you could do various things. You could do collage, if you don't want to have just one uh, piece of paper or, or whatnot, or fabric. This could be lined with fabric as well. And here again, if you don't sew, you can still do this. You just have to glue really well. But you already, you know, I'm sure you already know that. Okay, so what I decided I wanted to do with that, and I just, I don't know why I enjoy this kind of thing, but I do. And so I thought, okay, let's see if we can make this kind of fun for Barbara's, for a digital, uh, some of her digital papers. And I absolutely love this. So let me show you. This is a digital envelope. And I'll, like I said, I will have the links to where you can purchase this if you like. She's very reasonable. Um, it did not have this edition. I added that because I wanted to, you know, give this a flap. But you could still do it just by itself and, and leave it open and then just wrap. So it, it's not a necessary thing that you need to do, but it was just it was just fun that I wanted to do. So I took her digital and then I just added a few little things of my own. This the only things this this and those two little goodies are just random scraps that I have had. Everything else, even this little scrap, all of these are some of her digitals. And then I've lined it again with some of her papers. And I just think it's adorable. <laughs> so, and as you can see, I just put some fun little papers in here. Um, so this would just be a wonderful little additive into a junk journal. It would make a fun little gift all on its own. You could cater this to Christmas, you could cater it to fall, you could just do um, just the vintage, the antique looking, which I think this kind of is, and love it. I mean, this is just, I just think it's super fun. So I thought that we could make one of these. All right. So, and I've just been wrapping it and I pulled that under and up through and then I left these just a little bit long so we could tie a little bow. Just a really fun, fun, fun project. Okay, so what you're going to need are the digitals or your own envelopes. Whatever you want to use will be fine. Um, I also got this. Now, this was hooked together this way, and I cut it, or was it this way? <laughs> anyway, it was kind of upside down. This was down here, and I really wanted it to be up at the top, and so I cut, cut them, and so now we've got this that we're working with. All right, so let me get all of that out of the way. So the first thing I want to do, I think, is to, let's just put a little bit of book page on the inside. 
Now I believe that this is approximately the same size as the one that I worked with. So this is five and seven eighths. So I am going to do this. Well, first of all, I don't need very much. So we will go ahead and I will trim this, move that out of the way, and then we'll trim it. This is an inch wide, and then five and seven eighths. And we will, okay. So what I'm going to do now is glue that to the inside of this. This will be covered. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of room, I think. Now here's a little trick. You may already know this, and this is just kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. But if you want to keep something straight, <laughs> I don't want that much room because this isn't going to have too much on it. Okay? And actually, I really don't have to do that so carefully until I'm getting ready to put that down. Right now, I'm just adding the glue. And I probably should have had a blue... A blue... <laughs> a blue book! <laughs> Kelly's Blue Book. No. Now I've got that. And now I've got this. And we will lie those down fairly close together. All right. And then we will put this in the center. We'll see how we did. I do want to go ahead and wipe this off though because I I don't like working with a bunch of okay we got it off alrighty so that's a little bit ruffly not sure why that's doing that that's not normally Hmm, a little odd. Okay, but when I get it folded and I do add the pages and we do our, our, our stuff to it, it's not going to be noticeable. So that'll be just fine. Okay, so that's what I did. You could put washi tape. And I will do a washi tape. Let's grab some... Over here, let's take a peek see and see what we might want. Um, looking at this and looking at my... Now this could kind of... I could work in the blues here. Here's blue. This is kind of a... Uh, a berry like a mulberry or or we could keep it very I love these I think I got these off Amazon I don't I don't remember I've been you know I've I've had these for so many of them for so long and have been gifted many of them as well let me grab another section I think that might work even maybe a little better okay so let's see what we've got here how are you doing today I hope that your day is going great now that might be kind of interesting with the black striped got striped we've got Ooh. you know what let's just kind of play let's do something different I'm gonna use this you use whatever you're comfortable with 
you can stitch these together and I will stitch my pages when I get all my uh, gluing done but I don't want to do that until I'm at that point okay so you can either put these on now or you can wait until let's see let's get that kind of straight you can wait until you've glued whatever other papers that you're going to use on here as well you could also do that okay so I think that's gonna be kind of cool and I will show you we're not to that point yet but we will add a flap because I want to show you how to do that if you don't have a flap and you and that's something you maybe haven't done yet and by the way if you're new I hope that you will enjoy hanging out with me I just really I just I I'm just excited every time that I get to visit with you and spend some time with you I think it's wonderful now here we've got and I'm going to leave this this way plain just like I did on this one I just think it's cool by itself I like the look of the envelope so that people can tell it is actually from an envelope and so I'm not going to do anything to the back obviously you can that's not a problem so what we want to do is bring in some other things and now where did I Here's some of the things that I have that are Barbara's. And then this, of course, is my... I have a video on this, too, if you'd like to take a look at. I have just loved using her digitals. They're just so much fun. And... So, as I'm going through here, I'm looking for things that might work well. Now, some of these, these notes that she has, some are blank and some have birds. This might be kind of cool. And I did some different sizes a little bit. That might be, okay, let's... Let's keep those out. And now I wouldn't want more than one bird, I don't think. But maybe something there. Okay, we're just playing. I'm just I'm just looking maybe for some things and maybe this I don't even want um, maybe I don't want the bird on there maybe I want to put a bird you know on here that pops out a little bit more okay or we could do all right, just pulling some stuff out. Pulling some stuff out. <clears throat> and this is good because I haven't used these for a little while. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Got some notes we could put on. Oh. There's so many choices, so many wonderful choices. Okay. 
let's okay let's just kind of get started here and maybe this will be enough for what I want to do on here um, I also have done these in smaller this is also one of Barbara's let's take a peek and I did this a couple of different ways this one I have taken I have it's a Tim Holtz tool that you just kind of scrape the edges but you could use scissors if you don't have something like this and this one I used a tear ruler to get this edging and I I like both of those <coughs> both of those a lot excuse excuse I'll be right back <coughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, I've got quite a tickle going on here today. Alrighty, so now I'm going to want some papers. This is also one of her digitals. And she's got some, well, you just have to go and look. Because there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of really good stuff. Okay. I want to just take a peek, see, here. And see if there is a background that I like that will go with this color envelope a little bit better oh that's yeah that's cool oh yeah 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 okay let's see It's hard when there's so much to choose from, my friends. Difficult to pick. All right. And I'm going to keep that for front and center. <clears throat> so what is the weather like where you live? I would assume oh that's pretty cool do you like that what do you think give me your ideas I'm thinking either this one or this one oh nice 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 okay <laughs> help me out so I think this one fits just a little bit better and this is two copies of the same than this although this still blends beautifully <sighs> all right all right all right all right okay we'll use that one and the reason that I pick that out before I really start gluing things down, guys, is I wanted to be able to see what's going to come over because this background, okay, like for instance, when I glue this on, 
this becomes the flap. And then I glue extra some of the edge, like for instance, so this will actually fold over. So this is what you'll see. So I want it to blend and look nice together. Okay? Did that make sense? <laughs> well, we'll as we go, you know, we'll we'll take a peek at that. So now what I want to do is I don't want to put too much on the front here because I love with these particular this particular digital. I mean, look how pretty that is. That's why I picked this particular envelope and the one that I showed you. Um, let me bring that one back for just a sec. This, 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 and a little bit of underneath is what I added. But all of these stamps and this beautiful paper and whatnot, that was already on the digital. Okay. So I have some fun receipts. European ephemera, I believe. And I've got, I think I'm going to use this sweet little girl. I just, I'm not sure yet whether I want, well, I don't know, maybe like this one. And let's see. So I'm just adding just a few little odds and ends. Like I said, I don't want to... I don't want to do too much because I don't want to take away from what's already here because it's so pretty. Now, hmm. Or, hmm. Maybe I like that one better. What do you think? Do we like that better? Do we like it better? Not that. We'll just keep it going. <laughs> now here we can put an envelope on an envelope. Let's see how we like it. We like it, but not for this I don't think for this project and I don't the part that always is bogs a lot of people down not not just me but a lot of people is when we get into the deciding what little paper goes best here or there I mean literally you can spend hours <laughs> Hours just trying to decide well this or that what do I do and I, I don't want to do that now I want to put something down here and it could be just as simple as some washi tape so I think I think we'll go with that I've got a there's a little something what is it? Okay. Oh, okay. I think I'll edge with some ink so some of this stands out a little bit more. Whoa! <laughs> and there goes my sponge dauber. I love using sponge daubers. Anything you use, it's not going to last forever because the sponges that we put ink on with, they do wear out. And so you eventually have to, you know, replace them. And I just find if I'm working with such a little one, I start, I cut, I trim off when it gets kind of fluffy or starts hanging out. And I trim it and I can usually go through a couple of trimmings before... I actually have to replace the sponge dauber and I I think that's very economical to do it that way um, 
maybe some uh, when you create do you use sound effects <laughs> I I can't create without using sound effects sometimes I'm like oh they must think I'm the biggest idiot and, and you know but I'm usually uh, tapping my feet uh Humming, doing rhythm. I it I don't know. I just have a hard time just like sitting quietly. That's tough. That's hard for me. <laughs> my my feet want to talk, or or my you know my fingers. They want to tap out a rhythm or or something. Sometimes when I'm doing that, and Dave's in here with me, my, my hubby, he'll look at me, he'll, and I'll be like, what? And then he'll be like, oh, <laughs> I'm tapping, aren't I? <laughs> oh, I guess it's okay, though. Okay. Let's see, I think what I might want on here, if I can find some, <laughs> hello, maybe a little bit of cheesecloth, lace, cheesecloth, those kinds of things. They give your project added dimension, which I think is a lot of fun. Okay. So, let's take a peek, see at that, see what we're thinking. Wonder if I wonder how that would look if I kind of mirror that. Do I like that? No. Yeah. Hmm. I do, but not enough to do it. I, I still kind of like this a little bit better. And I know it looks like it's kind of, I've done much more over here, but I, this will balance it. And I love that this is here. And so once I get all of this glued down, I think that will look really nice. So let's Let's get to gluing and see, see what happens. Okay. I'm using my art glitter glue for this particular project. Although I'm not opposed to using my Elmer's glue all glue stick either. I do find that this small little container, <clears throat> I found it much easier to use than the, the bigger uh, bottle. But I also have the bigger bottle, the like honker. Okay, so let's take those off. And let's glue some around uh, here. <laughs> this, we're just going to kind of play a little bit. Lie some of this down. I have coffee dyed this uh, cheesecloth. It uh, here in the U.S. where I live, it's fairly inexpensive, and I I love using it. Now, let's see. That's going to go for. So this, you guys, is just a really I think a very simple project that you can make into. I mean, you can make it as elaborate as you want to, obviously. And if you're doing special gifts for people, 
You could even turn this into something like a memory book to where you can put some papers you can print out, you know, some pictures, things like that, that, that are special. Okay, let's see, do I want this over here and this over like that? Or do I want this all on here? No, I don't want it all on there. So let's go ahead and put this down. We're almost, almost done. Oh, okay, the car alarm is going off. <laughs> I think hubby must have jiggled his keys funny. <laughs> he did that the other night, I thought. I thought uh, he'd set the alarm on his... Anyway, he keeps an, an alarm clock in by his uh, chair where he likes to sit and relax. And we were making the bed or doing something. And I said, it's going off. Oh, now that's kind of cool, isn't it? <gasps> oh, see? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Okay, that's how that has to be. But we're going to add just a little bit more cheesecloth. Sometimes, you know, things just happen. And they're just, they're just meant to be. So, so I said your, your uh, phone, you've got an alarm or something set. He's like, no. And he is a little hard of hearing. He does wear uh, hearing aids, um, and he he couldn't hear anything. Then he uh, went out into the living room, or his chair, and, and he he got his. Uh, it wasn't, but what he had done is he had somehow in his uh, pants pocket he had hit the alarm for the the car so it was going off in the garage <laughs> but he fixed it he took care of it got it all anyway and I think that's what just happened again is he had a little this one didn't last though and I don't know if you did hear it but if you did that was compliments of my hubby okay I'm really liking this. I'm really, really liking this. Oh, Barbara, these are just so fun, hun. Love, love, love your digitals. Okay, so I think I want to put maybe a, a saying, a little label, a little tag, maybe a little bit of washi tape. Let me grab my book again. First of all, I'm moving some of these papers off to the side. And I'm thinking the black in here, those labels might work really well. Those little word strips. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Um, embrace the journey. That's nice. Or is that too long? No, I don't think so. Live in the moment. See, I'm loving this, you guys, because what this what this is actually doing, I apologize, that may have been off camera. The black that I'm adding here, you've got black here, you've got black here, and this coming down. So this gives it the three. Isn't that cool? Live in the moment. Embrace the journey. Ah. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. I think follow your heart. So we will put the others back in and for another day. Now, I do want to cut down. I don't think I want the white around. 
I want to trim this so it's just the black showing. And then what we're going to do, I won't on this one because some of you do not have a sewing machine. So I'm going to leave mine with the gluing. Now I may later come back and, and stitch, but I won't do that uh, on camera. I like that. I also like it up here. Mm. Let's try. Yeah. I'm not even going to. If you find something that you like, don't drive yourself nuts by saying, well, I really like this, but maybe I'll like this better. <laughs> and go, <laughs> you know, just, just do it. Just put it down. Just put it down and call it good. Oh, I like that. I like that so much. I think that is super cute. And I honestly don't even think it needs to have washi tape on it. I think this is very nice. Okay. So now, next step will be to glue. What did I do with that page? This. To the inside. So what I'm going to do before I do that... And let me gather up these little goodies. Put them with the other ephemera. I find that if I can keep myself tidy as I'm creating, I just really kind of enjoy it more, the process. And it's just, it's just more fun. More fun. My desk area is actually smaller now because I brought my my little um, laptop and put it on my desk in the corner here and so technically I have less creating room but I like it better because it's it was upon uh, up on a little shelf where I had to reach quite a bit to get to it and it was awkward and this is this is much nicer okay so this is five and seven eighths and I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to take it long so now I want to trim this Two, five, and seven eighths. Is that right? I want to double check. Yeah. Okay. And this is just a really simple, simple way, guys, of doing your flap. Okay, that's going to be nice. All right, I am going to get, lay something down to glue this time, and I am going to use my glue stick. Again, this is Elmer's All-Purpose Glue Stick. I like it. There are many, many glue sticks out on the market. You just have to find something that you like, I I wouldn't use the Elmer's school glue glue stick because it just doesn't hold it you know it's made for kids in school <laughs> and kids in school get messy and they well like we don't right but oft times they want to correct and do things differently and whatnot and let's just bring that over just a little bit. And the key, and I've said this before, and I'm sure other people have, I know they have, is that one of the keys to having your glue stick work well is you put quite a bit of glue down. Okay, so 
Does it matter which is the top or the bottom? I don't think so. But we want the flap to be on this side so it can fold over. So I will go like this. Okay. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Drop it on the floor, Rhonda. That's the best way. <laughs> so this will be coming over like this. Yeah. So I'm just kind of butting that up to this. Oh, that's already sticking very well. Okay, now what I want to do is burnish. And burnish is just a term that basically means rub with something flat. Rub all over it, and that's called burnishing. And that also helps give it stability and stick stick to itness. Now what I'm going to do is to go ahead and trim off the extra. The inside we know is okay let's see let's hopefully you can see all this. Okay, and some good scraps to use on another project. Now I'm going to trim because I didn't get this just exactly right. So I want to go ahead and trim that up so you don't see a lot of the extra paper and whatnot. And it looks like I want to trim just a little bit here as well. And obviously you don't you don't have to do that if you don't want to. That's you know, I'm I've told you before. <laughs> I'm kind of one of those people. Ugh. Perfectionists are cursed. Okay, whoops, and then we're just going to bring this in, and I think, let's see, do I want to, I think I actually want to put some washi tape right here to match this and where it's put together there so that it doesn't come apart as easily. But <laughs> whoops, 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 whoops. But this is a great way, you guys. To make a flap for your for your envelope. Super fun, super easy. And let's go, let's see, where do I want it? I think I kind of want it in here-ish. And now I'm going to actually use my stylus to kind of give that a beginning so it will be a little bit easier to fold on that line. Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? Where am I, guys? Okay. And now we will 
go ahead and trim. I just like the way it looks when it's trimmed. It just, to me, it just looks a little more professional. And not only that, but it gives us it makes it easier to slide in and out of things. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, there's just a little bit of white there. I'm not going to worry about that too terribly much, but I am going to do this. And this is vintage photo that I'm using. But any, you know, just depends on what look you're going for, what you like. But this is definitely super fun project and it really does come together quite quite quickly. And we'll do just a <clears throat> teeny bit of decorating. And then I'm going to uh, shut the camera off and I'm going to finish and then I'll come back and and show you a final flip through when I gather all my pages I would do that now but I haven't gathered the pages and that may take me a few minutes to go hunting and looking for some papers that I think would be fun to go in here but obviously for you it it won't be any time at all <laughs> it'll be just right after this. This has been so much fun. And then what you do is you stitch in or staple or however you put your journals together, your papers together. This is just, you call it a little mini journal, mini writing journal. It can be anything. You can have plain papers in here to where it's a shopping list. You know, it, it, seriously, it can just be anything you want it to be. You could put pockets on here, too, if you wanted to. You certainly could. All right. So before I turn that off, I'm going to look and see what I might want to do here, because I think I want just a little bit more decoration of something. Let's see. Actually, that could kind of look pretty good there, huh? And I could put something underneath that. Maybe some washi tape that is a little bit Let's see. La la la. <clears throat> Maybe something of this nature. Obviously, I will have to. <coughs> cut that to make it work. But let's see if we like. If we might like it well I think maybe we can give it a try this is pretty sticky though so if this doesn't work uh, it's I'm probably <laughs> gonna have to do a little bit of adjusting because it'll rip my paper when I try to take it off Okay, here again, let's measure. I could do an inch or just a smidgen under. All right. Let us see what we can see. Cherry, cherry. Okay. I like that. Let's get our bone folder and burnish the washi down 
and then we can add hmm do I need to do anything how would it look if we did more of yeah uh, a little too matchy uh, a little too weird um Doo, doo, doo. Dum, da, dum, dum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I don't like any of those so far. What about music sheet paper? Let's just, let's see. Let's give this a little rip. Oh, wow. Okay. And that is very fragile. As you can see. Oh, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and trim that off. So we have gorgeous weather right now the trees we've been here two plus years and I think this is the first year that it's really been beautiful the trees the fall it's really been pretty maybe a tear roller um it's just, we go and, and look, and it's, I mean, it's just very, very pretty. I love, the fall is my favorite season of the year, bar none. I can remember just spending special time going for walks and different things out on the hill from where I grew up with my mom and of course she's she's been gone for many years now and I sure sure love and miss her um that is not this is not like grabbing me so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right here I'm going to do something here I may coffee dye this and then put this on and then I'm going to get the pages and I'm going to stitch them in and then I'll come back and show you how it all comes together okay so I decided I would go ahead and show you um, how I am putting this little journal together. Okay. And then I'll do the little flip through and show you it all finished. This has been a lot of fun. Okay. Now... What I am doing, oh, I should have, <laughs> I didn't do that right, but okay. So you saw me doing some holes. You see this holding it. I pushed it clear down and then clipped. And now I am just in the process of bringing that up through. And technically, I probably should have a pair of pliers or something. But I'll go ahead and just use my thimble and my rubber finger. <laughs> All right. Come on. Come on. So, I decided to leave my ties on the inside. And if you wanted the ties on the outside, then you would start from the outside going in the center 
and then either go to the um, top or the bottom doesn't matter for the next one come on come on come on through my goodness that's just does not want to go through does it <laughs> well this is fun not so what I did I guess it's really my fault because I flattened I kind of burnt the edge <sighs> you know what it's good for you to see this too my friends that it can all be messed up and goobered up. So I'm going to trim that off. And now you're going to see it pop through. You're going to be like, wow, what happened? <laughs> it's because this thread, it unravels a lot. So if you take some fire to the tip, it, be, it being a, a polyester, it will hold it it won't continue to unravel and so I did that but what I didn't take into account was that it wasn't going to go through so let's see I don't need too much more so now I'm skipping the center and I'm going to the other side and then I'm going to bring it up in the center and it's going to be on the opposite. Mm, come on. Okay. Let's. We can get rid of my quilting tools. <laughs> on one side and the other. I can go ahead and take this out as well. We'll tie. I double knot and then we will trim okay and we will finish it off this is what I keep a lighter for not not for smoking mind you <laughs> it's great as a tool in your creating okay so and we can take our clips off and let us just it's kind of mash that down I kind of, I put probably a few too many in this, but it was so much fun that it's like, oh, come on, let's just add a little bit more. Now what I want to do is to give myself, I don't know how much room I'm going to need. But let's just go ahead and take quite a bit. This is probably close to two yards. But like I said, I, I may not need all this. But I bought this at a garage sale a couple of years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. This is going to last me forever. And I think I paid 50 cents, maybe a dollar. So if I waste just a little bit I'm not not gonna cry now here's the part where it can be a little tricky okay what I did I will share that with you oh, I wonder if I just were to tape this because I'm going to end up cutting this off 
And if I had a bigger opening, or then it wouldn't necessarily be an issue either. But I put a small eyelet or a regular eyelet on here. And I added a little reinforcer. I just cut a little circle with one of my punches. And then I'm, come on, come on. So there we go with this. And now we're just going to wrap this a few times and then pull it. See what I'm doing here? Going over and under and pulling that up. Okay. Then I'm going to trim that off. And then this is where I made on the other one just a little just tie a little knot, tie a little bow and we'll go ahead and trim and trim and then we will use this again to tighten our ends okay don't burn yourself doing this Now, if this were 100% cotton, then it would not melt. It would, you would see a little bit of ash. But polyester melts. Okay, now let's open it up and see. Wow, sorry, man, this is just like, ooh, Rhonda. <laughs> Calm down. <gasps> I tell you what, you guys, my house smells amazing. I was going to help. I was going to actually make split pea soup for tonight, but hubby was kind of wanting to do it. And so he did it and it's in the crock pot and it's almost done and my taste buds, I'm salivating. <laughs> okay. Isn't this fun? Oh, Look what I did. This is upside down. Ah. Oh well. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> Got a little pocket. Got some fun. Oh. Rhonda. Ah. This is really irritating. <laughs> This is really irritating. Well, I may go ahead and undo that and put that together again because I can guarantee you this will drive me nuts. It will. It will drive me nuts. So, what made it weird is this one is right side up, but it's the only one. <laughs> but you can see these are some fun papers that I put in and coffee dyed. And coffee dyed some old music sheets and just some German just some fun this is music paper another pocket just super fun this would make a wonderful gift you guys wonderful gift I'm just going to do this because when I get off the video. I'm going to take it all apart <laughs> and do it again. Okay, so you get the idea. These are super fun. I hope that this has been informative and inspirational for you. I love you guys. I hope that uh, you will stay healthy. And until next video, guys, have a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.